and welcome to your favorite Indian television show. It's Aussie Indian, of course, and thanks for your company. Hope you enjoyed our coverage of the International Yoga Day. And uh, we are going to continue with the theme in this episode as well. And ever since United Nations adopted that uh, International Yoga Day be celebrated on the 21st of June every year, celebrations occur all around the world. And the celebrations happened here in Sydney as well. The Consulate General of India put on a show in Bradfield Park in the heart of Sydney to celebrate International Yoga Day. Our staff reporter Ursula Melham caught up with uh, the Consul General of India to tell us the significance of this day. Let's take a look. Today I'm joined by Your Excellency, the Consul General of India. We are filming at Milsons Point, a beautiful location uh, in anticipation of International Yoga Day, which is celebrated on the 21st of June. Thank you so much for finding the time to speak with us today, Your Excellency. Thank you so much for joining us on the occasion of International Yoga Day. Thank you. So as we all know, uh, International Yoga Day um, is celebrated by many across the world, um, and here specifically in Australia as well. Um, but can you speak to a little bit about the origins of yoga itself uh, for our viewers that may not know much about yoga? You know, as you know, yoga is a tradition that, that dates back to almost 5,000 years ago. It originated in yoga. And yoga is a philosophy of health, happiness, and living in perfect harmony with surroundings. So this has guided us all along. But I would also like to share with you, we were doing some interesting research, you know, how old is yoga in Australia? Yeah. And you'll be surprised. I was also pleasantly surprised. We came across stories, you know, dating back to 1850s. It means yoga at least is over 150 years old in this great country. You have to find articles in leading newspapers about talking yeah. about yoga. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. No, that's great. And um, a little bit more about International Yoga Day um, in specific. When did it start? When did International Yoga Day start? You know, the yoga day, generally yoga is celebrated all over the world. Yes. But we wanted to spread the awareness about the multifaceted benefits of the yoga. Correct. So in 2014, the UN General Assembly adopted a resolution to have 21st June. This is the day of summer solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. And of course, in our Southern Hemisphere, is the day of winter solstice, the International Day of Yoga. So 2015, we celebrated IDY as the first edition all over the world. Right. So it gives me great pleasure. Today we are in seventh edition. Yes, great. And how is International Yoga Day being celebrated in India as the COVID-19 pandemic uh, grips the nation? You know, the pandemic, as you have said, you know, the last one and a half years, it has upended life as well as livelihood. Things have been difficult, but one lesson is really obvious from the pandemic yes. for all of us, to focus on our physical health, and mental well-being and that's where I think yoga perfectly fits in. It's very easy, it's for good for your health and your overall fitness and I think especially in the cases, even in the post-covid cases, you know we have seen stories yeah. of emotional distress, mental health yeah. and this where yoga, relaxation, breathing techniques are playing a very important role. You know? yeah. No, that's yeah. great. And we'll be speaking a little bit more about that later on in the interview. Um, and how do you find that, you know, we've got many yoga schools here in Australia, you know, Sydney, Melbourne, all the cities across Australia. How is it being celebrated here with the yoga schools? Yeah, yeah. because IDY is so much in public consciousness. I'm happy to share it's celebrated all over Australia. Yeah. In Sydney, you know, all the yoga schools are celebrating it. We cover South Australia also from here in Adelaide and all the suburbs. We are celebrating it. Even within the consulate, you know, we have done yes. four big curtain raiser events and run up to today's edition. Yes. And tomorrow also we have planned one special thing with our consular co and other members of the government. And that's how I think it's quite popular over here. In fact, you know, I'm happy to share, you know, some statistics that I came across. Yeah. At least 10% of Australian population in some form or another they exercise yoga. That's, that's great. quite a sizable number. Yeah, that's yeah. great. And that was going to lead me to my next question as to how the Indian consulate is celebrating it here. Um, and what other initiatives do you have or, you know, does the Indian consulate have uh, going forward for International Yoga Day? You know, as I said, we did cut in and to today's celebration 
we are co-hosting with SRMT Australia, with Bank of Baroda who are supporting as co-sponsors and of course the North Sydney Council. And you know my deepest admirations are there for the Mayor who has always been supportive of all these noble endeavours. Yeah. But for, for me, yoga, as you know, we see this as a journey. It's not a one-off event. Yes. And this should become a part and parcel of our lives. But I'm really happy it's catching on consulate also. For us, these are not events. We do on an annual basis, month long, we have the yoga courses, which goes into the curve, goes in the pond. And in fact, we are moving this a step further. Right. We are now moving in the direction where we'll be able to certify yoga professionals here from Australia. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. Um, and so what are the health benefits of practicing yoga and meditation? I've actually gotten into meditation myself a lot lately in the past year and it's yeah. great. Um, and do you think um, that Western you know, countries like Australia um, understand those benefits? Uh, are they well versed on, on what's happening? Yeah. You know, in yoga in Australia, whenever I have a chance to meet with the Australians, you know, most of the people are familiar about the health and fitness benefits. Yes. But when it comes to pranayama, you know, the breathing exercises, people are not fully aware of the thing. Yeah. And part of the reason is, you know, because pranayama is normally, people think it's a little slow form of exercise. Yeah. So especially the youth, yeah. at times they don't find it enough challenging. Yeah. But believe me, it works wonders. If you do 15 minutes a day, I yeah. think that's wonderful, especially during the pandemic. Yes. You know, Danulong Vilom, Parvati, these are served very yeah. well for the people in India also and the world over. Yeah, yeah. And meditation, as you yourself tell okay. do, you, you will realize perfect relax. You have 15 minutes of meditation exercise a day. Yeah. I think that can be a perfect start for our day. Yeah. And I think it's a testament to the fighting spirit of the many that are doing it out here today in the rain as well. So yeah, that's incredible. You're right, you know, because I will share with you till yesterday, you know, we were evaluating whether. We should go ahead with a physical event yeah. or shall we go ahead and do a virtual one. But looking in the spirit and the zeal of all the yoga practitioners and yes. the messages I got, yes. you know, we have decided let's go ahead with the thing. Right. Come rain, come sunshine, we'll yes. celebrate the International Day of Yoga. And that's what we see, you know, yes. in the beautiful spirit, the group of people who have gathered over here today. What is your message, just one last question, um, to the local Australian population um, about, you know, meditation as, oh sorry, yoga, as uh, we come to celebrate International Yoga Day on the 21st of June? You know, as Honourable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, he always says, yoga is a great humanifier for the humanity. Yoga is for unity of mankind. Yeah. Yoga is for health, yoga is for wellness. Yes. And that's the reason, you know, this year our message is yoga for well-being. Yes. And in Hindi, you know, I would really like to give a message. Yoga kare nirog rahe. It would loosely translate into practice yoga, stay healthy. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Consul General. Welcome back. You are watching Aussie Indian. And as promised, we are now going to bring you the reactions of some of the VIPs who were present at the International Yoga Day celebrations at Bradfield Park in uh, the Sydney CBD. Here it is. Uh, I have got uh, Chair of Multicultural New South Wales, uh, Dr. Harry Harinath. Uh, Harry, thanks for finding time to talk to us. Thank you, uh, Raj. Yeah, it is, even though it's a gloomy day, but it's <laughs> the best day for, to promote the yoga. The yoga is the one, it not only increases the body heat by circulation, but also increases the mind power to deal with the present day things going on. And I applaud the crowd which has come here in this weather to take part in the yoga day, International Yoga Day. And I wish all of them a, a very happy year and a great year and a very successful year on my view. When I came in 1970, there was hardly a yoga school. <laughs> and yoga didn't know what the meaning of yoga was, right? But the, it, what it has done in the past 50 years is it's not only progressed in various parts of the world, but it also penetrated to the various communities in, and in their minds. Yoga is not only used for exercise, yoga is used for relaxation of body and mind and to promote peace and harmony in the society. It's the best exercise whereby you use the natural energy to change our body energy for better purposes. Mm.
you are a doctor, medical doctor. That's why I want to ask you this question. Is there enough awareness of the benefits of yoga in the Western society these days? No, not really to be frank and fair to your question. Uh, yoga is not that well known, especially the benefits of yoga to body and mind. A yoga done every day for a couple of minutes will enhance your lifespan and keep all the bugs away which is commonly haunts the human being. So yoga is now slowly gaining momentum. I think it needs more push, more push from the society, more, more push like functions like this will promote yoga in this world. Harry, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you, Raj. Thanks. I have got with me the director of uh, Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center at uh, the Indian Consulate, um, uh, Mr. Ramanand Garge. Uh, Ramanandji, thanks for talking to us. Pleasure, Rajiv. Interaction with you always a great delight. Thank you so much. And for the, all the viewers of your uh, television, I wish them a very happy International Day of Yoga 2021. And uh, in September 2014, Prime Minister Modi proclaimed in United Nations that 21st of June be celebrated as International Yoga Day. How much impetus it has given to the yoga movement around the world, do you think? Indeed, after the, uh, the United Nations unanimous proclamation of uh, International Day of Yoga, now today yoga has become a global phenomenon. And you'll realize that over the period when the system uh, in every country, it is celebrated in great scale, whether it's the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere whether it's uh, all kids or even as it, like today you have seen that some of the awardees of International Day of Yoga special contest were 80 year old. Mm. So that shows the vigor and the enthusiasm and the love for this and ab above all the COVID-19 pandemic has made us introvert yeah. to look into our health system in a very uh, collective manner. Mm. So certainly it is a global significance of yoga has gone up like anything. Mm. Well, Swami Vivekananda Cultural Center, yeah. when was that conceptualized? It was uh, when uh, the last uh, Prime Minister uh, Modi's visit to Australia, uh, it was uh, conceptualized and the declaration, Honorable Prime Minister Modi declared it and the actual functioning began in 2015. And since then we are functional and we are bringing various activities and initiatives on the cultural horizon of Sydney. How many cultural centers are there in Australia? Australia is the first one, it's the beginning one. And across the world, uh, it got nearly 40, 45. Oh, okay. Yes. So, main objective of the cultural center? It's the promotion of Indian culture, which got a great legacy of thousands of years, and the diversity, the plurality, which the India enjoys. So, through that, we share that with our uh, Australian uh, friends here, which also got the great uh, legacy of multiculturalism. Mm. Well, as you said, uh, looking at uh, the weather, it was not all that friendly today, but still, we saw a lot of determination to put on this event. Yes, as Honorable Council General mentioned, that this is the spirit of yoga, this is the love for the yoga, despite some less, little uh, briz, people that did not dominate the spirit of the people, and they actually took a very active participation in this. Yes. Yeah. And finally, your message to the people uh, in general, the wider Australian community about this International Yoga Day. I wish them again International Happy Yoga International Day and it's a great wisdom and scientific practice uh, evolved across thousands of years. So uh, I encourage all, I appeal all of them to in, uh, initiate certain yoga practices from beginning and it will lead to them a very balanced and a very uh, well-being and also provide them well-being as well. Thank you. Thanks Ramana. I think let me first say that India has made huge contributions from the very core in existence from thousands of years in the past. But yoga in itself is an art, is a lifestyle which was documented more than 5,000 years back in northern India. Although uh, researchers say that it was a practice which was prevalent 10,000 years back. But let's put it this way, that in today's busy life of work, and commitment in various aspects yoga is a blessing it is just not an education but a lifestyle which once adopted brings it much more easier for people to stay healthy and active throughout thanks very much for your message pleasure
Thank you Bye. very much. I'll uh, wish you all the best for yoga day and good luck. Stay healthy. Thank you. What do you think? Sure. I think that uh, initiative has definitely gone a long way, come a long way in terms of promoting yoga, in terms of the awareness that people have towards yoga. There are, you know, and we are in a very iconic place here, uh, opposite Opera House. Um, there are a lot of uh, small and bigger yoga centers which I have seen coming up even in CBD in the past uh, a uh, few years since then. So I think that awareness has definitely been there. I think people see yoga as a viable, practical option for creating that balance of mind, body and soul, uh, which is wonderful. And I think it has real benefits. And I think people have also seen real benefits uh, by uh, doing yoga. So I think that initiative has definitely um, helped to promote yoga mm -hmm. across the world. Mr. Samir Pandey, thanks very much for Thank you very much. Us. Pleasure. Thank you. It is not, yoga is not just about physical exercises. It is more about your mental well-being, about your happiness, and that if you are happy, you can make the entire world happy. And that is the message which the yoga has been delivered. Today's International yoga, Day of Yoga celebration also has conveyed the same message that in a multicultural society like Australia, the yoga helps bring everyone together and create peace within. Mm. And your organization, how long it has been in existence and what work do you do here in Sydney? Srimad Rachandra Mission Dharampur uh, was founded by Pujya Gurudev Ji Rakesh Bhai more than 25 years ago. Headquartered in India, it is 108 centers worldwide. SRNB Australia is a branch and it has got centers in Adelaide, Sydney, Perth, and of course Auckland as well. Okay. What we do, uh, we have been powered by 250 members in Sydney alone and with our motto, realize one's true self and serve others selflessly. To maintain that we have been helping the Indian Consulate with the Monday Bharat mission, uh, screen passengers for the 14-hour uh, journey back home, we have been providing free medical assistance to, uh, to Indians stranded in, uh, in Sydney. In addition, we have started a free food drive called Circle of Love and Care, where we provide free food to the community in need on a weekly Saturdays in Parameta, weekly Wednesdays at Blacktown, and four days in Hobart. Okay. And the final message to the Australian community about practice of yoga? The final message about the practice, they have warm-heartedly embraced the yoga, and we want them to continue the yoga so as to create the peace.